Hello, gorgeous, dazzling soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week, we have a full moon in Virgo. So expect a peak experience with a few surprises thrown in for good measure. On top of that, we have Venus, the planet of love, going into Pisces, making us all a little bit sentimental. And we have Mars, the planet of action, the planet of passion, trine Pluto. And that's Bear the Dog squeaking in anticipation. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey, fabulous Libra. It is a week of contradictions in many aspects. And that is because Venus, the planet of love, and your fabulous ruler is going into your work, health and well-being zone, and what, making you want to get organized and to deal with anything, any loose ends that you haven't dealt with. But it's also saying, okay, how is your self-care? Truly, how is your self-care? Are you lo looking after yourself? Are you taking time for yourself? In many ways, you might want to have a little bit of hermit time, some space on your own, and, and to do things that give you that silent pleasure. So it's great for meditating. It's, it's great for kind of working on things that have been sort of hassling you and you haven't had time to do it. And amazingly, there is great power in this. Often, you know, we're so on it, even in this kind of isolated time, that we don't pay attention to what's going on within us. So loads of things are coming up for you to sort out. But Venus is your ruler in the planet of love. So there is loads of affection and positive energies. And also the magic of this is you might tweak and make a small change in your life and it brings about some miraculous consequence. So work with the tiny things this week and certainly work with the health, uh, self-care because you'll be like, oh, it will really, really heal and, and move you forward. Now Mars, the planet of action, the planet of passion is trine, trine is a good thing. Pluto, the Lord of transformation. And for you, it's quite intense because Mars at the moment is in your primal zone. Life, death, rebirth, sex, obsession, addiction, taxes, money, you know, all of those things that ooh, poke our buttons. So it makes you very powerful, although very important that you don't seek revenge when Mars is there because the temptation when Mars is there, it's like a Scorpio energy. It might go, ha, you're right, you've hurt me, I'm going to get you back. Cast out that kind of Mars energy and work on the passion that is rising. This could be sensual passion. It could be passion for a project, but it's very, very, very intense. And actually Pluto is in your home and family zone. So there might be a situation that comes to a head connected to your home and family and connected to how powerful you feel. But ultimately this is good vibes. So, you know, looks to me as if a positive change will come connected to your home and family and come to you stepping into your power. Just remember, you know, no revenge. And the full moon makes you very, very psychic. It is in your spiritual zone. It's in your intuitive zone. It kind of maybe can give a little bit of lack of boundaries in, in your emotions, but it also connects you and, and makes you feel such empathy for other people. And you can connect with people and really, really have a really strong union with them. Be careful that you don't go into fantasy land about anything or get paranoid because don't forget the full moon whoo, rises all sorts of emotions and we might get this kind of amazing intuitive message and then, you know, it can tip into paranoia. So don't get paranoid, use your magical skills, trust your intuition, Work on really examining your emotions, but know that you are psychic as hell this week. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, gorgeous soul. I am looking for some fabulous psychics. If you know my company, which I'm sure you do, you know that we want people that are not just fabulous, accurate, detailed psychics, we want psychics that are emotionally intelligent, empowering and uplifting. If you think you fit the bill, I would love you to try out. Just email charlotte at michellenight.co.uk. I have had some psychics working with me for over 15 years. It, I promise you it's a fabulous company and we'd love to have you if you're a brilliant, accurate, specific and emotionally intelligent psychic. Lots of love.